When upgrading the firmware on your PepLink or PepWave router, it can be done a few different ways. In this video, we're going to show you how to do this from the web administration page. For those of you using in Control 2, you can also update firmware under the Settings tab as seen here on the right. When you're on location with the router you'll need to connect to your router either by Ethernet to one of the available LAN ports or connect via Wi-Fi. Next, you'll log into the administration page. From the router's dashboard page, we can confirm our router is connected to the internet via the WAN and firmware version is currently 7.1.2. In order to upgrade, you're going to click the system tab at the top, then look for firmware on the left. Since we have an active WAN connection, we can click this button, check for firmware, and it will automatically check the PepLink server for the latest version. However, we're going to proceed with the manual upgrade option because this has more steps involved. You might have to manually upgrade for a few reasons. Either you have no internet connection and maybe had to download the file to a flash drive. If your firmware is several versions behind the current version. In some special cases, support may advise you to load the previous firmware on the router. Before you proceed with the manual upgrade, you'll need to download a copy of the firmware. This is done at the PepLink website. First, confirm the hardware revision of your router. You can find this under the Status, Device page of the Web Administration. Next, go to the PepLink website under Support and Downloads. Find your router model at the top. We have a Balance 30. Now refer to the list of downloads and find the appropriate one for your hardware. Click the download link and save the file. It should save to your Downloads folder. With our firmware file saved, we'll head back to the Admin page. Refer to Manual Upgrade here and click the Choose File button, although on some web browsers, this may say Browse. Your computer will open its file folders. Locate the file you downloaded and open it. Click the Manual Upgrade button to proceed. From this point, whether you're doing an auto or manual upgrade, the process is going to be the same. First, the system will alert you to download a copy of the router's current configuration settings. Running a firmware upgrade should not affect your settings, but this is advised in the event of failure. Click Download to save a copy, then OK to continue. Next, the firmware is verified, the upgrade begins and we see a progress bar appear. We're going to go ahead and let this run, but we're going to fast forward through the roughly 8-minute process. You'll be presented with a screen that has a progress bar to tell you the percentage of the upgrade it has completed. It's important to remember that you should not be using your router for any type of web browsing activity at this time as it is going to be shutting itself down. This will generally occur around the 90% mark. Since the router powers itself down, Wi-Fi connected users should be aware that they'll be disconnected temporarily. If you have another Wi-Fi network available at this time, your computer may latch onto a different network. In this case, monitor your Wi-Fi connection and reconnect if necessary, which will only be possible once your PepWave has rebooted successfully from its firmware upgrade. When the firmware completes, the browser window will automatically bring you back to the login page. We upgraded from 7.1.2 to 8.1.1, which presents us with a requirement to change the default admin password. We must do this first before we can proceed. Finally, we can confirm the firmware version is correct at the Device Information section here on the dashboard. 